What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today, today, this is my Euro 2024 predictions. Of course, the Euros starts in four days time. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. And uh, yeah, of course, there's going to be loads of content throughout the Euro, so stay tuned. And by the way, I just want to thank you um, on 200 subscribers because we, well, I got, I hit 200 on Sunday, I think it was. So thank you very much um, for that. But uh, yeah, anyway, without further ado, doesn't make sense. But anyway, let's get into my predictions. Okay, then, so I think it should be screen recording. I'll move over here so you can see. Um, but yeah, so here we go then. So, of course, Group A, we've got Germany, Scotland, Hungary, and Switzerland. Now, for me, I reckon, I think this is a tight one to call. I mean, Germany, you know, they are the host nation, so they should be favourites to go on and go through to the next round. You know, Scotland, I mean, they're probably the least likely out of all the teams to go through. But, you know, they could surprise everyone. But I was watching Sky Sports News earlier, and I think Andy Robertson got injured in Scotland's first training session out in Germany. Because Scotland flew out to Germany yesterday, as, of course, Scotland are in the opening game against Germany on Friday. Um but yeah, I mean, Hungary, you know, they've got some very good players in their team. You know, they've got Dominic Schoberslai from Liverpool. They've got Roland Sally from Freiburg. They've got Willy Orban as well from Leipzig. You know, Switzerland, they've got a few decent players. You know, they've got Jordan Shakiri currently playing in America with Chicago, with Chicago Fire. You know, they, you've got Xhaka, who won the league with Bayer Leverkusen. You've got Jan Sommer. Serie A winner with Inter Milan. I mean, you know, both both Hungary and Switzerland got some good players. I mean, I th I think you know I think we mainly probably go talk about Scotland to be honest, considering you know with them and England are like the host nations for like round here. Like obviously, as you can tell, I'm from England. I mean that, but uh, but yeah, I mean for Scotland, it's going to be very very tough for them. You know, yeah, they're coming up against some. Brilliant talent, you know, Germany, the talents with, you know, Leroy Sane, Jamal Musiala, Kimmich and all these great players, you know, Hungary with Schoberslai and Salia, Switzerland with Xhaka and Sommer. I just, it's going to be, it's a very tough group for Scotland. I mean, you know, they were in England's group in the last Euros. They also had to play Croatia and they had to play Czech Republic as well. I mean, I thought, I think... In every tournament Scotland have played in so far, I don't think they've managed to get out the group, I think. So uh, maybe could this be the year that Scotland finally make it out the groups, but I don't think it will be, to be honest. For me, I think Germany will win the group, in my opinion. So I'll put Germany first. I just think they'll be too strong. Second, I think, will be between Hungary and Switzerland. But I am going to back Switzerland to finish second, so I think Switzerland second, Hungary third, and then I think Scotland will finish fourth. I do apologise to all the Scotland viewers watching this. So Group B, then we've got Spain, Croatia, Italy and Albania. Arguably, this is the group of death. Also, you've got Spain with Yamin Yamal, Dani Carvajal, um, some other players, you know, you've got Croatia, Luka Modric, Livakovic, etc. Italy with Donnarumma, Chiesa, Vicario. You know, I had to say that for the top one, you know. Um, etc. I mean, for Albania, I mean, you've got to feel bad for them that they've been put in the hardest group possible, let's be honest. So I think we all know where they are finishing. I mean, if Albania do go through, then fair play. But for me, I mean, looking at Spain... I don't think they're really that good, in my opinion. Italy, I mean, if you look at the team that, if you look at, I think if, I think if the Italy Euro 2020 team played the current Italy national team, for me, I think that Italy Euro 2020 team would beat the current Italy national team. I just don't think Italy that good anymore. I mean, I think to be honest, it's going to be a really, really poor title defense for Italy. 
I mean, I if I don't, I mean, they they generally could struggle to get out of the group. I mean, I think you know, top will probably, in my opinion, be between um, Spain and Croatia. So I think first it's tight, but first I'm actually going to put Croatia. I think. Out of them, Croatia. Out of them, Spain and Italy. I think they are probably the best. I'm gonna go Croatia to win the group. Second, I'm gonna go with Italy. Just I know I was kind of slagging them off a minute ago, but I think Italy will just scrape second. Spain third, and then Albania bottom. Okay, Group C. We got England's group now: Slovenia, Denmark, Serbia, and England. Because England. We arrived in Germany today. Um, the players are currently at the training base near Leipzig. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's, that's annoying me, that is. There we go. Um, for me, England are winning the group. It's easy. I mean, I know we did lose to Iceland the other day. Bit of a poor performance. But to be honest, the friendlies don't really matter. Look at France. They drew nil-nil with Canada. They only scraped past them. Luxembourg 3-0. I mean, if you, apart from their battering of 14-0 against Gibraltar, France and the friendlies haven't been that great, to be honest. So, the friendlies don't matter. I think I feel we will be fine. I think England will win the group. Realistically, should we should be winning every game. But, it'll be fine. England will win the group. It will be fine. Second, for me, I'm actually going to go with Serbia. I think Serbia at the moment, I think they're better than Denmark. I think Serbia have got a good team as well. You know, they've got Alexander Mitrovic, the former Fulham man. He's been banging loads of goals out in Saudi Arabia with Al Hilal this season. You know, they've got Sergei Milinkovic Savic, the ex Lazio man. He's playing his football in Saudi Arabia. Um, they've got some other good players as well, Serbia. And Denmark, I mean, you know, I, they're not really as good anymore. I, just, I think they will finish third. Slovenia fourth. I mean, the only good, the only player I know, or players I know, is Ilic. I think he's Slovenian, and um, you've got Benjamin Sesko as well. He's from Slovenia, so uh, yeah. Okay, moving on to Group D, we've got Netherlands, France, Poland, and Austria. Now, now, of course, if you don't know, um, if you don't know, or if you are new to the channel, I am actually. Um, I think I'm about, I can't remember what it is, but I am actually Polish, so, I mean, I have got, like, family connections from Poland, I've got a bit of family connections from Germany as well, but I've seen, I like to more follow Poland, because, you know, I mean, yeah, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, I mean, Poland, we actually did play tonight, and we actually did beat Turkey 2-1, but Lewandowski went off injured, so... Yeah, that didn't go too great at all. I mean, hopefully he'll be fit to play. But we all know who's winning this group. It's France. They are simply too good. Look at the players that Didier Deschamps has got in that team. Kylian Mbappe, Dembele, you know, Griezmann, Magnon, Kunate. You know I mean, they've got so many good players, France. For me, they're going to walk this group, in my opinion. I think they win every game, in my opinion, France. Second, I'm going to go with the Netherlands, you know. They've got a good team as well, you know. You've got a decent defence, you know, in Virgil van Dijk, Mickey van der Ven, the boy. I mean, he, he was cooking in the friendly, so hopefully he'll cook for the Netherlands. Um, in the Euros, you know, you've got Memphis Depay as well, etc. I mean, Netherlands, they could have a good tournament, but I don't think they beat France to top spot. Third... I'm going to go with Austria, and then fourth, I'm going to go with Poland for me. I've just got no hope in Poland, to be honest. I mean, to be fair, the game against Ukraine the other day, Poland played well. Tonight was decent as well, but uh, yeah. Uh, group E, we've got Ukraine, Slovakia, Belgium, and Romania. Now, I think this could be quite an interesting group, you know. I mean, Belgium, I don't think Belgium are what they, you know, Belgium, I don't, I mean, I said this for a couple of teams. I don't think Belgium is as good anymore. I mean, if you look at Belgium back in the past, when you know when they had like the likes of Eden Hazard and all that, Belgium were literally one of the best teams in the world a few years ago. But now they're just all the players are old. That's not good anymore. You know, ever since Roberto Martinez has left, or like as 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 Roberto Martinez's era ended at Belgium, they just 
I mean, to be honest, I just don't think that's not good anymore, Belgium. I mean, I think it probably gives one of Ukraine, Slovakia, or Romania to win the group. I mean, Ukraine, you know, they look, they got some good players. You've got Mudrik from Chelsea, Mikolenko from Everton, um, Sinchenko, Sivankov. Um, Zudakov, I'm not sure if he's been called up or not. I think he plays for Shakhtar, I think, Zudakov. Um, you've got Yarmolenko as well, a former um, West Ham player. But, uh, yeah, for me, I think top in this group is tight between Belgium and Ukraine, but I'll probably just give it to Belgium. Second to be Ukraine. Third, I'm going to go with... Slovakia, and then fourth, I'll go with Romania. And then Group F, then we got Turkey, Portugal, Georgia, and Czech Republic. Now, we all know Portugal are winning this. You know, Cristiano Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, Rafael Leal, Ruben Diaz. I mean, Portugal, their team is just stacked. They are, they are going to walk this group. This is going to be a piece of cake for Portugal. Second... For me, it's between Turkey and Czech Republic. I mean, I did watch a bit of the Port Poland game earlier, and Turkey looked quite good. So I'm going to put Turkey second. I think they are, from what I've seen, probably better than Czech Republic. Then I put Czechia, and then I'm going to put George. I mean, the only player I know from George is Kavarskelia. So yeah, and then of course, now we've got to predict the four best third place teams. So for me, I'm going to go, I think Spain. Will be up there, so I'll put Spain through. Um, Czech Republic, I think they'll be fine. Uh, Austria, nah, I don't think they'll go through, in my opinion. Slovakia, I'll tell you what, actually. I mean, I'll tell you what, actually. I mean, you've got Hungary as well. For me, yeah, I think Hungary will be in there. We've got one more Denmark, Austria, or Slovakia. For me, I'm going to go with... I'm going to go... You know what? I'm going to go with Slovakia. I'm going to go bold. Slovakia to go through. Here we go. Then round of 16, Croatia versus Slovakia. Obviously, we are going to back Croatia to go through. Sorry, Slovakians. Uh, Germany versus Serbia. For me, I'm going to go with Germany to beat Serbia. I think just... I think Germany will be too strong for Serbia, but Serbia could have a chance, in my opinion. Uh, Portugal versus Hungary. I'm going to go with Portugal to go through in that one. Netherlands, Ukraine, that could be an interesting game. I'll back the Netherlands, though, to go through. Belgium versus Spain, tight game. That That's a tight game, in my opinion. Belgium, Spain. I'll go with Spain to beat Belgium. France versus Turkey, you gotta go with France. England, che England, Czechia, you gotta go with England. And then Switzerland against Italy, I'm gonna go with the Italians. And then the quarterfinals, then we've got Croatia versus Germany. Tight game, you know. I mean, Livakovic, I mean, could be key when it comes to penalties. But I think Germany will be fine. I think Germany go and beat Croatia. Portugal against the Netherlands. Netherlands go out, Portugal go through, Spain versus France. you got to go with France, haven't you? Then we've got repeat of the final, England versus Italy. We're going to smoke Italy. Um, and then they've got the semi-finals, Germany against Portugal. Taiwan, but I'm going to go with Portugal. And then France versus England. I mean, as much as I want to go with England, I just think France are better than us, I think. Out of all the teams that can stop England, it's France. So I'm sorry, I am going to go with France to beat England. And then the final will be, for me, I think will be the repeat of 2016. Portugal versus France at the Olympia Stadion. And for me, I think the winners of Euro 2024 and taking the crown off Italy will be ooh, France. France will win Euro 2024. You've heard it here first. France to win against Portugal. Ronaldo heartbreak. <sighs> but, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.